Welcome back to the Keeping It Real with KC podcast. I, of course, am your host, KC Phoenix. And why do I have to cover this stuff? (laughs) You know what? I know I have no plans of flying Air India. That's for sure. (laughs) So, before I go any further... KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Okay, we have to get into this because this headline is an understatement for what happened. (laughs) And we're going to get into it. So the headline says, Indian held, and by Indian, we mean from India, Indian held for unruly behavior with woman on airline flight. Okay. Sounds like, oh, he just, you know, maybe he cussed her out real bad or maybe he, you know, threw his cookies at her or whatever they give to you on the flights. Or, or something like that. Or maybe he messed with her carry-on bag and just took it and opened it and just threw all the stuff out throughout the aisles. No, 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 no. That's not what happened. When we say unruly behavior, let's just scroll down right quick. Let's scroll down. Let's see what they say. It says, Indian police have arrested an unruly airline passenger following a complaint by a woman on board an Air India flight from New York that he urinated on her in business class. So let me read this again. And you tell me if this headline matches what I just read. Mind you, it says Indian hell for unruly behavior with woman on airline flight. Okay, let's read the paragraph again. Indian police have arrested an unruly airline passenger following a complaint by a woman on board an Air India flight from New York that he urinated on her in business class. I don't know why. I just feel like that's an understatement for unruly. I feel like unruly is cutesy. (laughs) As you know, as um, the war room says, it's too cutesy. (laughs) So, yeah, um, that's a lot. I'm going to read this and then, yeah. So Shankar Mishra was picked up by police in the southern city of, and people from India, because I do have podcast listeners in India, please forgive me if I mispronounce the city. (laughs) So was picked up in the southern city of Bengaluru. I'm pretty sure I got that right. Bengaluru. And brought to the Indian capital on Saturday. New Delhi police spokesperson Saman Nava said on Sunday, Nava declined to say what Mishra told investigators after his arrest. The Times of India newspaper cited that Mishra as saying that he was drunk and could not believe what he had done. Really? Okay. A New Delhi court sent him to prison for 14 days as police investigate the complaint accusing Mishra, Mishra of outraging the modesty of a woman. During the New York, New Delhi flight, if convicted, he faces up to three years in prison. Now, this outraging the modesty of a woman. Why are we? Whatever. So, um, Sagara Bhattacharji. Hold on. No, no. Bhattacharji. Bhattacharji. I think I got that right. Another passenger on the flight told reporters he saw Mishra consuming excessive liquor. And that Mishra was talking incoherently, asking him the same question about his family several times. Also, Saturday, Air India issued written notices and grounded one pilot and four cabin crew as the incident triggered outrage on social media and among activists who said that banning Mishra from flying for 30 days was not enough. Air India filed a police complaint this week, though the incident occurred on November the 26th. It said the crew did not summon police upon landing in New Delhi as they believed that the two had sorted out the issue on their own. Indian Indian media reports said Air India acted after being pressed by the family of the woman passenger, a senior citizen, to punish Mishra. Air India acknowledges that it could have handled these matters better, 
both in the air and on the ground and is committed to taking action, says the airline CEO and managing director Campbell Wilson. So a person named Campbell Wilson is head of Air India. Okay, got it. In a statement, meanwhile, Mishra's job as a Mumbai-based executive has been terminated by his employer, Wells Fargo. Oh, wow. And company, an American multinational financial services company, the firm said in a statement on Friday. So he got fired from his job. Goodness. Okay. So, yeah, I'm still stuck on this unruly passenger. That That's not it. I feel degenerate would be a better word. And there's nothing wrong with being a, a degenerate. Remember, it, it, here at this podcast, Keeping It Real with KC, I don't judge anyone. Because who am I to judge? And my thing is I tell people, if you're going to be a degenerate, at least be a degenerate with class. Be a degenerate with class. I might do a daily thought on what that means later on for those who don't understand. This was degeneracy. Is what this was. This wasn't, oh, he was unruly. Oh, he was shouting at her doing... The man urinated on her. That's degeneracy. That's what that is. And I don't think he should be banned for life. I don't believe in that. Because I believe in redemption for everyone. I do believe he should be banned for a year. Where, dude, you can't fly for a year. Go get into an AA program, do something. But you're not flying on Air India for a year. That That's what I would do. If I was in charge. And maybe I could be. Because apparently somebody named Wilson Campbell or whoever, Campbell Wilson, is in charge of Air India. So maybe I can be too. But I digress. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Podcast cared, carried on pretty much everywhere. Every podcast um, platform. Thank you for supporting the show. Until next time, be blessed.